So here we are again. I lost. Again, again. And uh, yeah, I feel like I just made this video, but here I am making it again. I just wanna do a little recap of what happened to me or at the US Memory Championship this year. <sighs> so close, man, so close, I was so close. So I figured I'd give a quick recap and then as usual for these videos, it's kind of fun to reflect back on where I was a little while ago and where I am now. So let's maybe watch me react to my old video that I posted last year, which was me reacting to a blog post I wrote years ago when I lost. I don't need to tell you the whole format of this competition. I've talked about it a million times, but um, basically in the morning, we had four events, names and faces, which I broke a record. So last year I lost my record. My previous record I held was 201 names in 15 minutes. This girl from one of the schools in Pennsylvania took it from me with 228 or 226. So a whole year I've been training hard and I knew I could do it and I did 235 names in 15 minutes, which is an awesome score. Never in my life would I have ever thought that I would be able to memorize 235 names in 15 minutes. Me, Nelson, jeez. So that was cool. So I was in first place after that. Speed numbers, kind of botched my first attempt, got 265 digits, which isn't horrible. And then my second attempt, I went for 340 and change and got 320. Not my best, but decent. Then we did poetry. I did okay, I went for about 276 points. Um, I usually make mistakes, so my score ended up being 214 points, which is, it's okay. And then finally we did cards. I've been playing with a new system, which clearly needs some more practice. My first safe round, I did it in a minute and change. I went through it like two or three times, but I made one mistake. So my score was like 36 cards, really bad. And then my second attempt, I did 54 seconds, felt good, and I still messed stuff up. So believe it or not, I bombed cards. I didn't get a full deck in under five minutes. Other people did. Lance out of nowhere got, uh, I think 21 seconds. I don't think he's been training even, so Lance is another competitor. Anyways, I was worried that the cards would kick me out of contention to being in the afternoon rounds, but no, I actually was still second place uh, after that. Uh, John was first, I think Lance was third, and uh, who else we had? I can't remember. So afternoon events, um, we're back to normal how they used to be. If you remember last year, they had changed it up. The finals were at MIT. They did all sorts of different kind of versions of the event with some long-term memory, none of that. It was the old school thing that I knew how to win. Quick recap, random words. I uh, memorized only 130 this time, just to be safe. Was very careful, said them all perfectly, made it through the round. John forgot uh, and was kicked out in that round, which was super surprising, but he keeps telling me he knows how I feel last year because I did the same thing. So it was kind of a nice bonding moment. Tea party, I'm pretty good at that, no problems. I didn't get a single strike. Then it was speed cards. It was me, Lance, Grace, and Chen Xin. Grace and Chen Xin, I know that they both are not very good at cards, so I didn't expect them to go too far. Lance, of course, is very good with cards, so I knew he could go through the two decks unless he messed up. So you have to memorize two decks in five minutes. We got to the 102nd card. My turn, and I said it wrong, and that was it. So we were almost done with the two decks. If we had both done it perfectly, we would have had to do a tiebreaker, which has never happened before. The cards I got wrong, I actually switched my mind. But even if I had said that, I actually forgot the last card and it would have been my turn to say the very last card. So I would have lost regardless. Anyways, bigger picture stuff. Let's, uh, let's look at where I was last year and how I feel today, because that's always the interesting part. As per usual, let's go to Google. Search for Google. Here's Google. Let's go to YouTube. Here it is. Lost again. Here we go. Okay, after we watch the ad here. Yeah, okay, I lost again for the second time. Actually, this is my fourth time losing. Fourth time losing. Fourth time losing. Fourth time losing. This would be my fifth time losing. But you know what I can say? I could say I was always seven time finalists, right? I was in the finals 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 I didn't compete, 17 I didn't compete. 18, 19. Oh, eight time finalist. Eight time finalist, that's not bad. What did I lose? I lost the US Memory Championship. 
sad music. So sad. So how did I lose? Uh, a lot of people are asking me that question, and um, well, it comes down to me forgetting. I forgot something, and then I lost. Yeah, that's typically how it works. Let's advance to where I was talking about. Here Not winning is a good thing. Not winning is a good thing. Which is a great title. That's exactly what I just said. But it's also obviously justification. It's okay. Winning is great. Not winning is great too. So what happened in 2013, before I get into this is... We don't need to go into what happened in 2013 because I go into it right here. But, uh, not winning is a good thing. That was kind of the whole theme of this video was, you know, it actually propelled me in the past to come back and do something great. And I think the mentality in this video was, good, I lost, it was pretty bad, let me make some changes, I'll come back next year and be stronger and maybe win. I did that, uh, but I did not win. So I kind of broke what I expected to happen here. <laughs> But I did do better. I did do better, right? Uh, I, I felt really strong. Uh, my performance was good. I came in second place and I was right there till the end. I can't feel that bad about that, right? And as we started walking stage, I was mentally rehearsing both decks. I knew them down cold. Nice. So yeah, the difference here is I actually did not know both decks down cold. I was actually pretty rattled. I don't know, because I knew Lance was gonna push me till the end. If it had just been me and the two high school students, I would have felt like I had already won. Um, just because I knew I could do more cards, but with Lance, I knew it was going to be tight. And so even going onto the stage, I knew all the cards in my head, honestly, except one. And that was in the middle of the first deck. I didn't tell anybody this, but it luckily happened that the card that I was missing was something Lance had to say. If I had had to say it, I would have been out actually earlier on. So he said that card and then we kept on going until the end of the deck. And honestly, at that point I was like, oh, okay, I know the rest of the deck, we're good. But then we got to the last few cards and I was like, oh no, I think, oh, I'm not sure, oof. So yeah, I panicked. As we started reciting the deck on stage out loud, I remember being so careful and focused on saying each card correctly. Okay, my dog's having like a friggin' chug fest over there. It's easy to say the wrong card, even if you think you got the right one. Yeah. So they say Michael. That's true. So we were very, I was very careful in saying the right card. That was the last thing I wanted to do was say something wrong. I was not gonna lose this on a technicality or a mistake. All the while, I was still trying to be as careful as possible. So I didn't say the wrong thing. Probably the most interesting part. This is how I'm justifying it all in my head. How I justify this in my head. In 2013. There you had it. My two year dominance, oh God. Stunted by a dumb mistake. It was a dumb mistake. That might have been my last USA memory competition. That's funny. 2013, I'm saying this is my last competition, and 2019, I'm still competing. Here we go. Losing sucks, for sure. Good insight. Bravo. And it hurts especially when you know you could have won for a third straight time. That's true. I, I knew I could have won. I had the two decks down, and I just momentary lapse of focus and said the wrong card. But again, this is part of the competition, right? But I have to look at the positive, and that is that losing is usually better than winning, okay? At least in terms of where it takes you next. I like that, yeah, that's true. Because uh, winning, yeah, where will it take you? You're kind of at the top and then can't really go much higher. So yes, I agree with this, and it made total sense last year that um, the hole I have found myself in, I was pretty upset, was going to only propel me forward. I couldn't really go much lower. But I lost in a pretty miserable fashion and kind of a shocker. This year, I felt good. I felt like I had a real chance, like I was there. And then as I started getting into the later afternoon events, and then I was in the final finals, and then I was just me and Lance, in, deep inside I said, it's going to happen. This is going to be my fifth championship. At the same time though, I knew that there was a chance that I could mess up or Lance could outlast me. Um, so I was already preparing myself to potentially lose and I didn't feel too bad about it. And actually when I lost, you can watch the video, actually here's the last few minutes where we're near the end of the deck, the second deck, and I say the mistake. Three of diamonds. Eight of spades. Five of spades. King of clubs. Six of spades. Five of clubs. Six of 
seven of clubs. You can see I'm not that disappointed. Lance is over the moon. He's wanted to win this thing for years. You know, it's it's an interesting thing because now I find myself, I was very happy with what I did. Obviously I wanted to win, but could I have done better? Yeah, I mean, I could have not made the mistake, but getting nearly to the end of the two decks that has never happened before in, in competition history, I did what I've done in the past and Lance was just there. So where does it put me? You know, it's it does suck. There is the feeling that like, damn, I would have liked to wrap up my five titles and be done with it <sighs> but now you wait another year you know but this is this is it and john graham who gave a little speech he brought up a good point which uh is that these competitions are fleeting i mean you gotta enjoy them while they they last and they're actually pretty hard to win just in terms of getting th all the way through the end through your stress anxiety getting everything right not making a mistake that's hard and then to win it back to back to back to back uh, is even harder and to win a fifth one, you know, as competition gets harder, it's it's tough, you know, especially for me, if someone who doesn't focus on this 100% anymore because he's doing it as a business. So where does this put me? What am I doing next? You know, I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know. This is kind of a weird video, just an update uh, and commentary, but I feel good. I don't feel bad. Um, I'm proud of what I did and um, excited to see where I go and happy to know that I'm still in the mix of things even though I'm not constantly training like I used to in the past. Anyways, I just wanna let you guys know what was up, how it went down at the competition. Yeah, let's get back to memory tips video today. Yeah, subscribe, like this video, share it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.